Hi friends, in the part one we have seen how a autocomplete works by using a, we have created it by using entry box, then the options we are uh, displayed in the, a, in the drop down list box. So, and then in the part two we have seen how we will use the navigational uh, arrow keys means downward arrow to move to the list box area and I can move use the up arrow also and by selecting the right arrow I have selected the uh, option which I want to uh, enter into the entry box. So these we have seen in part 1 and 2 and in the part 3 now we will use different options. What's this line number 10? This is the list we have used in part 1 and 2 to add to the our options. You can see all our data are taken from the or options are taken from this list. Now we will learn how this list we can generate by taking data from a Google sheet. Then we will move to MySQL database and take the data from there. And we also we will learn how we will take the data from a Excel, CSV or from any other sources to use it as a options for our autocomplete. We will use data from our Google sheet to populate the options. So for that let us connect first to our uh, Google sheet. Here is the code. So this actually you can see first we have connected to PyG sheet. This is the library we are using. Then we have downloaded the Google API uh, credential in the JSON uh, file. So that we have kept it in our, in, in our drive. You can keep it anywhere you want and uh, that path we have used in the here in line number 11 to authorize that one and we are connected to our file my g seats one my g seat one you can see it is here i have connected here you can see my g seats one now this file this connection and all you can read in our tutorial already we have discussed and some examples are also there you can use that and here it is our we are connected to our worksheet one so here it is now below that <coughs> this my list will comment it out because we will use our own data source instead of this particular my list. So we will create our my list by using the worksheet data. So for that purpose let us first take the our worksheet data. So we will say we will maintain the same name. So we will need not uh, have to change anything in the main code. So or below this particular line. So same lane my list we are maintaining we are taking now we will be reading that one and creating this list by taking the data from there so we will say wk1 wk1 at the just above line we have declared it connecting to seat one dot get call so this will one will take the column data which column we will use we have shown that a is uh, column one and b is column two so we are gone to column two and then we are telling include include telling empty and that value we are keeping it as false you can see the below row number 14 there are empty are there we are telling that don't include those don't bring those data only bring up to uh, starting whatever uh, up to 14 only now we can also see how this looks like so we can print this my list <coughs> so my list we are printing we will see it how this one looks so you can that's all because now the source is changed so line number 16 we have commented because now we are getting it uh, uh, data from our uh, google sheet and google sheet will be connecting the and will be taking the this column 2 data so all the uh, all the data from the column 2 or column b and that data will be using it you can see here it is here it has come and you can just see here watch here how it is the sorry I will just scroll down here. Yeah. You watch the way it has come up. So that data we are using. Now here it is. I will just test it by A. Fine. You can see match this with the column data. So A, B, if I will say I can select one, press the downward key and press the right key. It is selected. Now I can even go to B. Now B one option. The last option is with X. So I am giving that. Now I can select. So this is, this is how we will use it. Now uh, let me close this. But you just watch that this is uh, we have used here get column to get the uh, list. Similarly other functions are also there. So that functions if you will, you will use will get a different but that time we will get a matrix. I will just show you the how we will get. Now we will try another function to 
get our list so here it is let me just press again again i am creating my list i have commented the earlier one and i am saying wk1 dot i am saying get values wk1 dot get values so this values whatever i'm saying from which which area or uh, from where to where so i am saying it b1 to b14 getting comma now b14 i think yeah 14 one four fine up, up to this range you take the data but here is one issue issue is this will be getting in a matrix format so we have to unpack it and use it now for that to compare it was this how earlier we got it this is same as the before now let me just save this and uh, sorry i have to unpack it again now here the element inside the element i will just add a star so that will unpack it now directly instead of using it the each element will unpack and use because that itself will have it's in the matrix format let me just run this so you can see that now uh, we'll be getting a the print the print command will give it the tell us in what format it has come yeah you can see now now see this particular below line i am seeing here this line at the bottom so you can see the there is a different in format so we have used that is why we have used your element on pack at line number 42 now i will just say a i will get it because i have unpacked it so it will i will get it in the list so this is how even there are other functions also i have just closed this i will just give you one more example so you yourself can try what suits you best before sorry not here i will ship 10 star sorry 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 not star i have commented this also now i will go to one more way of getting the data that is range now i am selling my list equal to uh, wk1 dot range now what is that range from where to where i have to give now i am saying b1 colon sorry sorry not b1 yeah then b14 that is uh, the range okay now i will say return as this i have to specify whether i want a range or another option is there i am telling matrix so this is the way i want so i have to unpack it again because you can see the difference the same thing will be printed i am just saving this and running it so now you can see i have removed all the previous my list now i have gone for my uh i'm go just gone for my return as matrix and now this range will return me the yeah here it is you can watch the pre whatever the the same fashion it has come up now let me just a whatever the same thing because the data is same only i have to use i have just unpacked it only i am pressing enter key so it will go that's all this is how you'll get it from the worksheet now let's move to and get the data from mysql table I will remove this uh, Google Sheet part. Here it is, and uh, paste this particular. This is what I am importing SQL Alchemy, importing the connection string. This mat line number ten. My uh, I am creating the connection string. Here I am giving my user ID, my password. This is for my local host, and this is my DB name. So these two I am creating the connection engine. So that connection engine I will use for my uh, getting the data. First, let's create the query. Q equal to select, select instead of star, I will use name because I want to use one column only that I will be used as options. So select name from student. Student is my student table. You can get all the SQL dump, everything at the, at the description, it is there and limit i am using because i am getting 10 records only there are around 35 records because i want just 10 records so i will, if i will remove this part then i will get all the 35 records and then what i have to do is come here now my cursor now my i have to execute this query so i will get it executed use the connection my connection i have used it at line number 10 i got this one so my connection then sorry sorry execute what i will execute a query the variable q i have written i can directly write the query also from in here 
so now my cursor is ready now i'll get the uh, result the record set i will get it here r e s u l result this is the variable name only now my result is equal to my cursor dot execute sorry 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 it is fetch all i'll get the all the records from there fetch all so fetch all will collect the records from there now print result so i will say okay uh, if you want to see here how the result because this will return a tuple not a list so to compare it be in between this we'll let's say print the result and see how it looks now from this tuple we'll generate the list for that I, we are using the same name as my list so below this line we need not have to change any code so directly we can use my list so my list equal to r for r from the tuple we are change, creating the list comma in result that's all so now this is ready so list is uh, ready we have got the list now you can see we uh, this actually we need not uh, keep this because this is already a list is there so unpack is not required now let me save this was this that both the triple and this one will be printed let's yeah here it is was this here you can see the first line above at the bottom of the screen you can see this is the tuple and from that tuple we are getting the list so the first print command has given the tuple next one as the list now let's test this our a so you, this is the names from the student we are getting arnold so arnold alex john whatever i want i can just select it okay now let me just remove this and use b okay one record only is there big john so i'll be doing it now let me just do one more thing is i'll remove that uh, limit so uh, 35 records i will get i am deleting this saving it so now the li my list will contain 35 uh, rows of data so now if i'll say okay a there is no then um, c okay d i have no no name is there now so many uh, names are there so I am getting the all those names here so like that I can continue but here one issue is there every time first time when this uh, program runs it collects all the records of and student and create the list this list is created by taking all the 35 rows of data of names suppose I want in the uh, based on the user entry dynamically this list has to be created then in that I have to use like command so like but it will not work because I have to take the take down that one so like now say str is my what are the user has entered so I have to give code starting with str ending with anything so this query this query I have to and this str will be taken the what the user has entered this way I can suppose there are I have a huge records are there say th around 10,000 records are there I cannot bring all the 10,000 records and create a list for this option to match that time I will be passing the string and matching options I will be getting and populating so that is what it, it is a totally because there that time I need not loop through everything and use the regular expression directly I will use it I need not have to go through the regular expression. so here the changes will be are required so that's uh, some other time we'll see that part of it how the when a huge data is there how will the matching options will get it so you can practice this all the links are at the bottom you can download the entire script and test it you first uh, you test without the google sheets or anything just use this line line number 17 use it above quotes you can remove those part and then you add google sheet and then you add mysql you can as well add take the data from csv excel file and use it same concept only thing it has to be how you are creating the my list this list how you are creating so that's all i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new tutorials and we frequently do that please share this uh, tutorial with your friends and thank you for watching and please subscribe